Also, this is what this is about, talking about money, like absolutely talking about money. Like, yes, my, my services, you know, are $10,000, right? That's it, full stop. And if that's not okay with you, then I thank you for that, but you're not my client, right? right? And then, so what's also, and just verbalizing, talking, engaging, with money, so many women, you know, I've been sharing this challenge with them and I call it the show me the money challenge. I've also been sharing, you know, Stephanie since Claire's challenge that we've been doing. I'm like, oh my God, this is such a great challenge. I'm learning so much about myself. And this glazed look just goes, you know, I get re the response is, oh, that's nice. <laughs> and like, guys, come on, want more for yourself, you know, want more for yourself. And then it's like, well, it's not about the money. Well, actually, it, it is. is. Money touches everything, right? It, it touches everything in the world. And I believe that if, if we are to, there's two things that I believe. One, if we are to be the people in the world who make a difference, it's going to be because we have money, the money to do it, the money to invest in causes that we believe in, the money to send money to countries and places where we want to support. Um, I, I think that's how it's going to happen. And we want that money to be in the hands of good, good people, good folks who have good hearts. Um, and so it is about the money, you know, in, in that regard. And then the second thing is we must normalize talking about money. Yes. You know, the, I know in the U.S., the only real reason why talking about money in like middle-class America is taboo is because the big corporations didn't want people talking to each other about how much money each person was making. Mm -hmm. They wanted to keep it hush-hush. And so now we've created this culture where you don't talk about the money that you make, but you better believe that if you're in a space with ultra-rich people, they're talking about money. And there's this lie that, oh, when people are super, super wealthy, they don't talk about how much money you make, they make. I'm like, how do you think they know each other? How do yeah. you think they recognize each other? How do you think they um, talk about where to invest in all of those things? Because they're freaking talking about money. Yes. <laughs> And so we must normalize the creation of, the receiving of, the charging of, the stewarding of larger and larger sums of money, of big money, massive amounts of money. The more you normalize it, the more it will come to you.